Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So one thing we'll have a look at just now is where the uh, equity markets are after coming off from Friday late afternoon, even though we had some good data from the US. Uh, news kind of fell out now that the Greece deal looks like it's falling apart yet again uh, and things aren't looking so good for anything to be put in place before the 30th of June. Uh, which is their next payment to the IMF. So um, Germany playing hardball now um, with uh, with Greece, and um, things just aren't quite all going according to plan. Big big meeting that they had there uh, at the weekend um, finished up after about 45 minutes to an hour with no major uh, kind of breakthroughs at all. So the euro was a little bit under pressure. A lot of uh, global equity markets are drifting down a little bit this morning. You can see the candlestick formation that we had there on Friday was quite was quite negative. Today we're actually off the session lows on the US 30, uh, but it's 17,747, that's the potential support level, and that was the same support level from mid-April, um, and we've actually bounced off there a couple of times in, in, in May and again in June, so I wouldn't be that surprised if we get there at some point in the next couple of sessions anyway. So looking at the UK 100, negative again, breaking through potential support, 6771, looking at 6686 as the next potential support. Technicals are relatively neutral, not yet gone to oversold territory. That should be a clear indication that there could be further still to go. We might see a retracement back up towards 6771, um, but there is a lot of negative sentiment out there at the moment. So looking at Japan 225, barely keeping its head above this trend line that's looking more and more broken and murky as time goes on. So I would probably look more towards the horizontal level here at 20,087. Uh, dollar yen has done nothing the last number of days, so I'm not expecting a huge amount of movement on Japan 225. So I'll have a quick look at this uh, this FX pair. Um, you don't see it quite so much on this chart, but on my intraday chart on my other screen, um, and you can probably just see it just by these two two formations right here. Last couple of sessions, this has really not done a huge amount. Uh, bouncing off the 21 period SMA, still eyeing up 124.42 as the next potential resistance, followed by 126 uh, bang on the nose. Um, we are in the middle of two ranges right now, but hopefully that 21 period SMA provides dollar yen the support that it needs, but people might choose to buy some yen and want of all this uncertainty with Greece at the moment. Um, dollar bulls aren't really doing a huge amount considering we had a, a, some pretty decent data out of the US on Friday, but maybe a September or autumn uh, rate hike has already to a certain degree been priced in. Um, because we're not seeing the, the move, movements in the dollar that you might expect considering um, the analyst beating figures that are coming out uh, on a day-by-day -day basis at the moment. So looking at crude oil West Texas coming off a little bit and the Saudis confirmed that they're looking to increase their production uh, which uh, some traders feel might add to further to the oil glut in the global markets. Um, but we're still at a historical, not historical highs, but recent highs to be quite honest. Um, where you see in the recent highs, we're in about 61, 70. Uh, we're not a million miles away from there right now, so bouncing around about 59.50, uh, we're not that far away. So moving on to gold, and gold as perhaps the, the big teller right here, if you know rates were overdone, underdone, whatever you would see it here in gold, but uh, we talked about decent data coming out of the US on Friday. We had a doji formation with very limited um, price action there, so gold's not really reacting too much to uh, the positive US data, and we're actually up a little bit today. 1186 is the potential resistance, which could be a retracement for a move further down, but uh, it's not really losing a lot of momentum as we get closer to here, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. The dollar is kind of losing a little bit of momentum against most other FX pairs, though, so that's perhaps not that surprising. So, moving on to your dollar, even with um, those Greece talks falling down. Uh, Euro dollar is actually managing to have a positive day today. Um, lots of doji formations are kind of drifting slower down towards one spot 11, uh, which is also coincide with that 21 period SMA. So the technicals are uh, kind of neutral as well, to be completely honest. So there's still uh, movement in both directions possible. Uh, but I wouldn't be at all surprised to see a move towards 111 and then um, Euro dollar traders making a decision after that which way they think this is going to go. And if we finish up with GBP USD, um, we had a retest of one spot 56 on Friday. We'll probably get another chance later on today. Bullish cross on the MACD. Other technicals are neutral. Uh, Sterling still has a little bit of uh, gas left in the tank for it to break above 156 to target 157.43, but it's not done it yet. So this is going to be the strategic level that many cable traders are looking at. And uh, there's not a huge amount of economic data due out today. Nothing of any significance. We do have uh, a Fed meeting, I believe, on Wednesday. 
which a lot of traders will also be waiting for. Uh, Tuesday we've got a CPI data from Germany, CPI and PPI. Uh, and RPI from the UK, so lots of UK-centric data tomorrow at 9.30, big for UK 100 and cable. And then we've got the ZEW business report for Germany as well. So a decent amount of European-centric data due on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, you've got the Bank of England MPC minutes, employment data, more Eurozone CPI data, uh, and uh, actually it's the... Um, it's a Fed decision on uh, 7, 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Uh, that's going to be a major announcement. People looking for the rhetoric that comes behind that. Uh, and that's going to be very important for where interest rates might go in the future. So keenly watch reports. So I wouldn't be surprised if the markets don't really do a huge amount until we get that out of the way, because who knows what they might come out with. And then obviously you've got your petroleum stocks uh, coming out as well. So as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum. Make insights part of your day going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.